I've got the new Petzl Rocha locking pear-shaped carabiner. The Rocha is a smaller, more compact pear-shaped carabiner from that of a standard size one like the Petzl Attach. 45 grams in weight, $20, and it's available now. The holes are for aesthetics so that when you see this carabiner, you see the holes, you say, oh, that's a Petzl carabiner. However, there could be a use here, depending on what you're using it for, to tether a progress capture device like the Nano Traction. The nice thing about the Rocha is that it's so small and light that you're going to find a lot of opportunities where you're going to want to bring this rather than a full-size pear-shaped carabiner. Again, this is 45 grams versus the 58 grams, and so that's, that's a substantial amount of weight savings right there bulk as well. I can find myself wanting to throw this on my Reverso so that I usually have a Rocha and an SMD on my Reverso. It allows me to then use this for repelling with the Reverso or when I'm setting my Reverso up in guide mode, I'll attach the Reverso to the anchor with my SMD and then I'll use this for the rope to actually pass through. Those moments don't happen as frequently uh, while you're climbing to where having that weight savings and having just a, a less bulkier system on my harness um, really is more beneficial here. So the, the Spirit Locker has been discontinued and would this replace it? In terms of its size, it's similar, but again, the, the Spirit Locker was a D-shaped locking carabiner. This is a pear shape. And so what this is gonna be able to do is a lot more than what the Spirit Locking Carabiner was uh, intended for. The Spirit Locker was for attaching yourself with a lanyard to an anchor point or using it to belay it with a grigri. It was never really intended to repel with or, or to belay with the Reverso where you have the rope passing through because the basket was so narrow, but this definitely is going to give you a lot more opportunities than, uh, than the Spirit Locker for sure. When it comes to personal anchors, it's debatable whether or not this would be your go-to carabiner. Personal anchors, when you're connecting it to an anchor point of some sort, you don't need a lot of times a, a, such a wide basket. Again, pear-shaped carabiners think the rope's going to be passing through it. I'm going to be moving rope, maybe two strands of rope, or I'm going to be connecting it to a fat a sender or pulley or something of that sort and you need that wide basket. So with personal anchors, you're going to be connecting it to a quad of thin cordelette or webbing or you're going to be connecting it to a chain link. And so with that, D-shaped carabiners are going to be your go-to for personal lanyards. What would this be my go-to for? Whenever I'm using a tubular device, whenever I'm planning on repelling on, on two thin, thinner ropes, uh, whenever I'm planning on belaying with a two rope system, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust out the Rocha with my Petzl Reverso and have a nice compact lightweight system for that.